Hi, this is Jack Anthony, and this is YouTube video number one of who knows how many that I'm going to make to help you get ready for the Palmer Lake treasure chest time capsule and you placing an item in the time capsule. That can be an exciting part as you kick off your Thanksgiving and Christmas season. So this is the first of several I hope to make to help you select your item and have it be ready to be included in the time capsule. You probably know this, but there is some big work going on at the town hall. TN Parker Construction is working very hard to repair and replace the roof. We should be all grateful to the town of Palmer Lake staff for uh, working that effort to get that project underway. We've also applied for a state historic fund grant to make the town hall more accessible, safe, and inclusive. Things like ADA compliance, larger and nicer restrooms, a more functional kitchen, and uh, we're hoping to earn the grant. So keep your fingers crossed on that. There's a photo of some of the work going on. Okay, so we have Councilwoman Glant to uh, thank for coming up with the idea of a time capsule. And she wrote me into, I mean, she asked me to volunteer to help with it. And I said, sure, that sounds like fun. The town of Palmer Lake will have a special wooden treasure chest, a 50 year time capsule that will be placed in the 107 year old time town hall and be opened in 2071. Time capsule day is Sunday, November 21st, and it'll be in the village green. It is very, very, very important that before the 21st of November, if you plan to place an item in the treasure chest time capsule, you let us know and our um, emails are provided. We have to make sure your item is properly prepared and packaged to be placed in the time capsule. So what we're gonna do now is learn a little bit, some helpful tidbits on what an archival print is. That is, if you wanna put photos in the time capsule, maybe with a note saying what the photo is, Mr. Sean Steiner of B&H Photo and Video in New York City recently wrote a neat article that talks about what is an archival print. And that article is easy to find if you type in that big long address or if you just put in the keywords I've noted. It's a really good article. It's short, easy to understand, very informative. And I'm gonna highlight just some of the highlights of the, of the article. Okay, I wanna to thank Tanya of Archival Solutions in Colorado Springs for bringing this article to my attention. She's actually been on walking tours with me in Palmer Lake. So she's a Palmer Lake super fan. Here's some tips. Sean says, print your photos with pigment-based ink. Your printer may be dye-based. So you might have to look around for someone who has a pigment-based ink printer. And you can go to a print shop or talk to your neighbors, check the uh, handbook of your printer, and you'll find out if you have that. Dye base is okay, pigment base is better. So regarding the paper, use acid-free and ligand-free and also buffered paper. If you really want to go over the top, use cotton-based paper. Most paper is wood-based. It'll hold up better, okay? Place your prints in an archival quality sleeve. Those are typically made of mylar or polyethylene. They, they keep the photo secure and keep light off of it. Well, we're not gonna have any problem with light getting in the time capsule, so don't worry about that. Avoid handling your prints with your skin. Wear cloth or cotton gloves. Skin acid can start the process of degradation, Ooh, and that's not good if you're gonna live in a time capsule for 50 years. I recommend reading the article, take notes, and if you really want to have the best and most durable photos, visit a print or photo shop, speak with a photographer, or do more research. But these tips from Sean will be very, very helpful. And your reward will be when they open the time capsule, your photos will look almost as good as they did when you place them in the time capsule on the 21st of November. Okay, one more slide. I want to finish with some cool historical photos of your town hall. The first one on the right is circa 1939. 
and you can see the town hall, not many buildings surrounding it. <coughs> Excuse me, you can see the Sundance Mountain, and uh, there's the town hall, and there are all those cool cars, and they're present for the uh, Yule Log celebration. Okay, so that's town hall circa 1939, and we have the Palmer Lake Historical Society to thank for these photos. And then there's a 1951 photo, and I want you to see that right there is the kitchen edition. That, that was done in uh, the late 1940s, so that's pretty cool. And uh, I thought you'd enjoy seeing. There's the town hall, and looky there. There is the elementary school, and who knows what this is. That's the 1935 Palmer Lake Star. By golly, it's a state historic site as well as the uh, town hall is. So what an awesome uh, town we live, we live in. Okay, well, that ends this video. It took me six minutes. That was my goal, so I'm going to end it here. Thank you and be looking forward to the next video and get ready for Time Capsule Day, 21 November.